Hello, my name is Murat. I'm uh, working as a scientist, advisor and developer. And uh, I'm trying to actually bring the science based innovation to impact, especially through startups and uh, grassroots projects. In simple terms, what does this, this mean is innovation is basically mean, you know, making technologies or complicated technical solutions used in the society. If you know, something becomes innovation when it has use in the society, so it's a basically making technologies useful. Scaling is increasing the use, the number of people, the areas, number of countries, number of areas it's used. So in a nutshell, scaling is making that use for the society as large as possible. The organizations we are working called CGIR is actually a 50 years old organization where there's a lot of technological solutions and um, early innovations has been developed. But when we look at its performance in the last 50 years, although it has quite a bit of success, it's not sufficient to help the impact needs of, the, of primarily Africa, but also Asia and Latin America. Our team is very valuable because it actually tries to help the science community to understand what are the major needs and demands from end users or the farmers and businesses and help translate the science into practice. That requires additional skills, that requires a different mindset and that requires collaboration. So our team is actually trying to bring all these three together and make the science useful for impact needs of Africa, Asia and Latin America. This workshop, uh, among uh, many other traits, I think have two major novelties or the differences that it, it adds value. The first is that, you know, most of the innovation and scaling discussions are theoretical. Business does these discussions among themselves, science community does it among themselves, but they don't really capture the all practicalities around innovation and scaling issues. In this workshop, we have to have opportunity to bring the scientists, to bring the people who are experienced coordinating the scaling teams, bring the people who knows how impact works, how finance works, how event management works. So the first novelty of the work, this workshop was really putting practical, actionable information. And the secondly is, you know, you can never achieve scaling in agronomy or otherwise alone. There has to be always a collaborations. But when you look at the current landscape, those collaborations are usually unintentional. Determined or enthusiastic people come together, but there is no logic who matches the skills and compatibility, capabilities of the participants in a coherent way. I think in this workshop we achieve to really provide actionable information to the scientists, but also brought people together which are complementary in many ways. I believe so. The first is that we already have some deals happening because the participants are collaborative and they are complementary. We already see three, four clear things that can start a very uh, uh, good process of impact. And also I think we are contributing to the overall journey of bringing two worlds of science and business together. Of course, achieving this is a long journey. We need to do, we need to walk a long way, but I think we have, at least for agronomy, we made a very good start. So the short answer is yes, and I'm very optimistic. GRADE is actually an African um, based or sort of, you know, grassroots initiative to bring the gender and inclusivity issues to the agenda and also improve the capacities of initially African scientists 
to understand and to operationalize some of the inclusivity and gender concepts. And Excellence in Agronomy is a global agronomy initiative where the new technological, high and advanced agronomy operationalized at scale is introduced. So where they overlap, great and excellence in agronomy is collaborating to make sure that the, all the agronomy projects under the excellence in agronomy portfolio, which are currently 20 and it will be 50, hopefully next year, are informed by the inclusivity and gender issues. And all the activities actually lead to empowerment and improvement in gender. Initially, we had three objectives. The first one, to improve the capacity and capability of the scientist through and really high impactful or very, let's say, advanced uh, people in the sector. So to give them the practical side of the things and inform that actually those practical things can be also in code science. I think for that, we achieved a good progress because all the resource people coming from the implementation side were basically great. They really, give us actionable insight, but also they responded our questions very precise and very accurately. So that I think it made me really uh, feel that we fulfilled that first objective. Second objective was to put an uh, overall framing or operational framework for the great, uh, for the large innovation and scaling team. The participants of the team is actually coming from different regions around the world. We had participants from Southeast Asia, from South Asia, different parts of Africa and Europe. So we needed a structure and we needed some operational uh, agreements on how we can move forward together. And I think also it was achieved as well. Yesterday it was very, we converged around how we can help. We were very ambitious, but also very realistic. Also, we managed to connect what we want to do with the broader ecosystem because there's a lot of very positive and actually very impressive work done. And we managed to link, link I think at least started linking our activities with the overall ecosystem. So in a nutshell, I believe the, in terms of the team, we really set a strong foundation for effective teamwork. And the third one was really introduce people to each other and then really make them, in quotes, if possible, friends. Because, I mean, innovation and scaling is basically about human. And to be able to help the human, the process of the team should be human as well. I think we achieved some progress there, and hopefully in this afternoon we'll continue. In a nutshell, team building was the other activity, and I believe it's also happening very well. So in a nutshell, I'm very happy. It's three objectives, and I believe three of them are already fulfilled. Well, I mean, there, there were a few things coming up. Initially, uh, not originally the intentional, but it came out. The first one is that we need that being hosted by Africa's largest innovation hub is beautiful, but we realize that it's actually not beautiful, it's amazing. So it helped us to really have the right type of conversation and we already embedded our conversations into broader impact community. That was happening very good. And I think also we inspired colleagues from different regions to see how this successful African thing can be scaled in Asia, even in some cases in Europe. We had discussion, a discussion that how successful this place is and how it can inspire the others. So these two things also, I wasn't initially thinking that explicitly, but it happened and really showed that, you know, Norskan itself is very good space, but it also has a role to inspire the others, not only in the continent, but also beyond, around the world.